This is a video circulating online which seems to show the lightning strike that caused the fire at the Calcasieu Refining Company's tank farm in Lake Charles, Louisiana on Saturday, June 3, 2023. It appears that the strike attached to the handrail. The path of the strike is obscured by the brightness of the background, but if we suppress the brightness of the image and we scroll back and forth through the video, we can see that this portion of the brightness in the top right is not associated with the background and appears to be part of the lightning path. Interestingly, this lower portion seems to clearly show the path of the upward connecting leader. Even though this is a metallic tank designed to be of adequate thickness to conduct the lightning current to ground and which is inherently well grounded due to its large metallic base, it's important to consider that lightning strikes are not merely associated with large currents, but also they produce large electromagnetic fields. This figure shows the electric field produced by a lightning strike and the electric discharges measured from grounded lightning rods that were within two kilometers of the strike. Grounding does not prevent this type of discharge. So, if a lightning-related electric field can produce sparking or corona discharge from grounded lightning rods that are two kilometers away, it's reasonable to assume that many of the protruding objects on and around the tank were similarly producing corona discharges due to the lightning strike, which was just a few feet to a few meters away. Based purely on the geometry of the structure, the edges of vertical pipes and the edges and corners of peripheral vents would all be locations where one could reasonably expect to find lightning-induced discharge activity, with sufficient thermal energy to ignite flammable vapors, and irrespective of the fact that all these locations are well grounded. It is understood that measures are taken to limit the presence or escape of flammable vapor, but that in practice this may be very difficult to accomplish 100% of the time. If this analysis is correct and the fire was indeed caused by such lightning-induced sparking, then this accident was easily preventable. Recognizing that some vapor escape is unavoidable, each of these locations could have easily been fitted with inexpensive electrodes that limit the possibility of such hazardous sparking. It is our belief that lightning electromagnetic fields from nearby lightning strikes are the single most frequent cause of lightning-related fires at petrochemical facilities, and yet none of the relevant lightning protection standards like NFPA 780 or API 545 give this threat any meaningful consideration.